Now on Coast TV News. A Laurel man wanted what the police say you can do to help. Monster Mild Charity, how you can have some fun on the track and donate at the same time. Well, our warm and muggy Labor Day weekend carries on. I am tracking a threat for some scattered showers and storms into the overnight, but a brighter, cooler Labor Day awaits. My full forecast in minutes. This is Coast TV News at 6. Good evening, I'm Brandon Ferguson, and welcome to Coast TV News at 6. Tonight, we begin with a water rescue. Earlier today, Millsboro Fire Department were called to Massey's Landing boat ramp for a water rescue of people in kayaks. This is all we know right now. When we get more updates and more details, visit CoastTV.com. The U.S. Coast Guard has identified the missing 48-year-old boater as Dorian Yankee. Officials say he was last spoken to at 7.30 a.m. on August 26th and departed off the Indian River Inlet at 9.30 a.m. that same day. The boat Yankee was in is a 24-foot white Hydra sport boat. He was last seen wearing a tan shirt, navy shorts, and a navy hat. Contact the Coast Guard with any information about this. Laurel Police Department is looking for a man wanted on multiple charges. This man on your screen now, Brandon Kane, has five active warrants involving theft and drug possession. Contact Laurel, Laurel Police Department with any information involving this case. Delaware State Police says there's been an increase in car thefts in Sussex County. They're reminding people to park in well-lit areas, keep all your doors locked, and all your windows up. In Dover at the Monster Mile, there's a chance for you to do laps around the track for charity. On September 14th, you can participate from the $50 package all the way up to a VIP $125 package. All money, money donated will go towards the Speedway Children's Charities. And as we take a live look into Dover now, our first alert meteorologist Chris Mastrobuono joins us. Hey there, Brandon. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it hasn't been a perfect day weather-wise. Very warm, very muggy. We've been dealing with a lot of cloud cover across the area. Seeing some sunshine break through the clouds there in Dover from our Bay Health Cam. 82 degrees, seeing winds out of the southwest at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. We did have a few showers that pushed through Sussex County earlier and then a few more that passed through the southern portion of the peninsula. But this weak trough over the area, but we're keeping a close eye on this cold front back off to the west. That's going to provide us with another round of some scattered showers and storms overnight. Now, the Storm Prediction Center maintaining that marginal risk could see an isolated severe storm. Damaging wind would be the primary threat, but not completely sold on the severe threat. We will see mainly dry conditions through the evening. You can see temperatures, though, rather uniform from coast to inland, but as I mentioned, quite muggy out there. Still seeing those 70 degree dew points. Now, over the next few hours, we will see dry conditions, but expecting another round of showers and storms through the overnight. Our Labor Day is looking fantastic. Lower humidity, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine, and we are looking at fall-like temperatures next week, and you're going to like some of those numbers in the seven-day forecast here in a little bit. Israel's military recovered the bodies of six hostages. Thousands took to the street across Israel demanding the government reach a deal to bring back the remaining hostages. Rick Damagello shows us more. Sadness and anger in Israel after the Israel Defense Forces recovered bodies of six hostages they say were killed by Hamas. According to the initial assessment at our disposal, they were brutally murdered by Hamas terrorists a short while before we reached them. The IDF says their bodies were recovered in an underground tunnel in Gaza. One of those killed was Israeli-American Hirsch Goldberg Poland, who was taken captive from the Nova Music Festival October 7th. I am just absolutely heartbroken uh, for Hirsch's family, for the families of these other hostages that were butchered by these Hamas terrorists. Israeli officials say Goldberg Poland was one of three slain hostages slated to be released in an eventual ceasefire deal. That sparked fresh anger against Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu for failing to secure their release. It's his sole responsibility. He could have saved them months ago. We have to bring the hostages back. We need a deal now for his future, for our future. On Sunday, protests broke out across Israel with demands of an immediate agreement to secure the release of the remaining hostages. But Netanyahu blamed Hamas for there being no deal. 
In recent days, as Israel has been holding intensive negotiations with the mediator in a supreme effort to reach a deal, Hamas is continuing to steadfastly refuse all proposals. Whoever murders hostages does not want a deal. I'm Rick Damagella reporting. This is Delaware Senator Chris Coon's reaction to the hostages' bodies being recovered. Quote, I am heartbroken and angry at the news that six hostages whose bodies were recovered in Gaza today were brutally murdered after 11 months in captivity. Unquote. Amazon shoppers took to social media on Friday as the e-commerce giant experienced technical issues with its checkout process. Amazon's checkout function was disrupted and temporarily stopped customers from completing purchases. The glitch comes in the midst of a Labor Day sale that promoted discounts on various products and it prompted some people to point out the issue on X. The Amazon help account recommended customers to contact the company in a response post shared to X. Coming up soon, the Shore Living Expo. The event celebrates health, wealth, and home on Del Marva. As you can see on your screen now, this event takes place September 7th from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Well, you're making your way out this evening. Any dinner plans? Maybe making your way towards the boards? We are going to be dry over the next few hours. A muggy, mild evening. Expecting a, another round of showers and storms after midnight or so. We'll track the more future cast when I come back in a little bit. The Mega Millions. What the massive amount to is up. Governor Carney trusts Bethany Hall Long to be our next governor. As Lieutenant Governor, Bethany fought to protect abortion rights, passed an assault weapons ban, and made historic investments in education to improve our schools. That's why she's been endorsed by the Delaware Democratic Party. And why Governor Carney said, Bethany has the right experience to be our next governor and the vision to build a bright future for all Delawareans. On September 10th, vote Bethany Hall Long for governor. At Atlantic General Hospital, we've been busy. Busy expanding healthcare services that are second to none in our region. From cancer care, and women's health services, to orthopedics, gastroenterology, and more, we provide advanced health technologies delivered by top providers. Expert care every day. It's what you can count on from Atlantic General Hospital. Draper Media presents the Shore Living Expo, celebrating health, wealth, and home. Saturday, September 7th from 10 to 4 at the Wicomico Youth and Civic Center. Sponsored by Spicer Brothers and Pohanka. Great demonstrations and interviews with Delmarva Life's Lisa and Jimmy on the expo stage, along with prizes and fun. Plus, meet your favorite Draper Media TV and radio talent. From crafts to home services, boats, cars, and RVs, this is a free event you don't want to miss. Go to WBOCEvents.com. See you at the Shore Living Expo. DSN Plus is more action. Four additional live stream games every weeknight and full replays on demand. DSN Plus is more local. Five live games every weeknight, showcasing high school showdowns and regional rivalries across Delmarva. DSN Plus is more access. Watch on your mobile devices and remember, DSN is still free over the air and on cable. But get more with DSN Plus, just $6.99 a month. Download the Delmarva Sports Network app from your app store today. Elevate your home style with Home Time Cabinets and Flooring. Our team of dedicated designers work with you to make sure you get the perfect kitchen to fit your style and budget. Choose from a variety of American-made plywood cabinets and waterproof vinyl flooring that's built to last through all of life's challenges. With a fast turnaround time, you can get your new kitchen in as little as two weeks. Home Time Cabinets and Flooring by Time Builder. Quality work in Delaware for over 30 years. This is Coast TV News at 6. The, U the U.S. economy expanded during the second quarter and more than previously reported. Thursday, the Commerce Department reported that the gross domestic product grew at an annualized rate of 3% in the second quarter. That's slightly higher than the strong 2.8% rate first reported a month ago. Some analysts say the revised numbers signal a solid footing for the U.S. economy. The Federal Reserve is still on track to roll out its first interest rate cut next month. The Mega Millions prize grows to $681 million after no win winner was named Friday night. The cash payout is now at $336.1 million after no ticket matched all six numbers. Mega Millions say the month of September has historically 
been a good month for jackpot wins. And there has been a total of 22 since the game began in 2002, with the most recent being a $431 million prize won in New York in September of 2021. The next chance to win is this Tuesday for what will be the seventh largest jackpot in the game's history. Boy, I'm going to have to get myself some tickets to get in on that jackpot. Well, we are going to see spectacular conditions at the coast tomorrow. Once we clear out the clouds in the morning, 83 degrees, low humidity, wall-to-wall -wall sunshine. We'll talk more about your Labor Day and track the storms in the overnight coming up. life's about. Like, let's just get straight to the good stuff. Does anybody want some good news? When I think of beauty and sunshine, it's you. We're built for this. Boom, boom. Every person has the ability to inject something positive into someone else's day. Everyone's week could use more Drew. New Magic begins <laughs> Monday, September 9th. When MAGA extremists took away our rights, Kyle Evans Gay took action. Kyle fought for her daughters and ours in the state senate, delivering the strongest abortion protections in Delaware history. She took on the NRA to ban assault weapons and protect our communities. Led on securing our vote and our democracy. I'm Kyle Evans Gay, and I'm running for lieutenant governor because a new generation will champion reproductive freedom and fight for our families. Let's do this, Delaware. The hottest new furniture store in West Ocean City, Home Living by Donaway, is having its first ever Labor Day sale now through September 2nd. Get up to 20% off everything in the store. Furniture, lamps, artwork, accessories, and more with all items in stock and ready for fast delivery. Stop by Home Living by Donaway this holiday weekend for the biggest savings event of the season. Shopping made easy and affordable at Home Living by Donaway, located in Outlets Ocean City. Our mission here at the Boardwalk Buddy Walk is simple, to create a community where people with Down syndrome or any other cognitive disorder can live, learn, work, and play. That's why every October, we invite family and friends to a full weekend of acceptance and inclusion in Rehoboth Beach. This year's event takes place on October 12th at 9 a.m. at the Rehoboth Beach Boardwalk and Bandstand. So come out to this year's Boardwalk Buddy Walk and Walk. For more info, go to BoardwalkBuddyWalk.com, sponsored by Coast TV. Well, folks in Ocean City taking in the surf and sand on this Labor Day weekend. Live in Ocean City, and uh, well, I'll tell you what, I can't believe it. Labor Day weekend already. September is here, and we are seeing a temperature of 77 degrees there in uh, Ocean City. Very muggy, though, with those dew points in the mid to upper 70s. It should be a dry evening overall, so if you have any plans on heading to the boards, it will be muggy, but dry, expecting some showers after that 10 o'clock hour. High of 83 in Ocean City today. We hit 83 Georgetown, 84 Cambridge. Still had dealt with a, a good deal of cloud cover across the peninsula. Right now, temperatures are still holding in the low 80s. As I mentioned, dew points, well, so we're still in the 70s, but we're going to say goodbye to this tonight, all thanks to a cold front that's going to be pushing through. Small craft advisor up for the bay until 6 tomorrow. We had a few light showers that passed through just a few hours ago, but those have since pushed off the coast. That shower and thunderstorm activity is sinking to the south, but this is what we're keeping an eye on. Refreshing cool air lurking back off to the west here. All that is going to spill in to the peninsula overnight. Well, we put a bow tie on the month of August. All the days you see here in blue, those are below average days. We actually ended up 17 days below average. We had the hottest temperature, 98. We saw the coolest overnight low, 51 degrees. It was a relatively dry month as well. We were some two inches below average. Now, over the next six to 10, expecting relatively cool temperatures, slightly below average as we usher in September, and we could see slightly above average rainfall throughout that time span. So once we get past the rain tonight, we are dry. As I mentioned, the next few hours, we are dry, but then as we head into the overnight, beginning to see a few of those showers and storms roll back in. Now, the Storm Prediction Center still has that marginal risk, could see an isolated severe threat, 
damaging wind would be the primary threat. We're 69 overnight showers and storms late clearing. You see here on future cast through the overnight, a few spotty showers, a brief rumble of thunder. Downpour could linger into tomorrow morning. Could see a few morning clouds, but then we see clearing skies and we are clear sailing through the afternoon. Northerly winds kick in. We are in the 70s tomorrow afternoon under mostly sunny skies and check it out by Tuesday. We're in the 50s to start a real very nice fall like day shaping up on Tuesday, even though fall still we're about uh, 22 days away from that. Labor Day planner. Well, we're looking really nice, except for a few morning clouds. We're going to be dry temperatures topping out around that 80 degree mark and a sensational afternoon across the peninsula. Elsewhere, we're at 80 in Harrington. We'll see 80 in Seaford tomorrow, 79 in Cambridge, 80 Vienna, 80 Salisbury, and 82 in Crisfield. We're looking very nice on the coast, a low risk of rip currents, very nice over the next three days in Ocean City with temperatures in the low 70s, and then we'll see an 81 on Lewis on Tuesday, 77, gorgeous. As I mentioned, humidity crashes tonight, and we are in that comfy range over the next few days. Your Paul Davis seven-day shows, look at that high, 74 on Tuesday, just gorgeous after starting out in the low to mid 50s, and we do see rain chances roll back into the picture by the end of the week. A Brazilian judge is putting social media platform X offline. Friday, Justice Alexandre de Marez suspended X in Brazil after owner Elon Musk did not appoint a new legal representative or settle any outstanding fines. On Thursday, Musk lashed out on X calling de Marez an evil dictator cosplaying as a judge. The trash talking marks the latest in Musk and de Marez months long feud. It centers on arguments over free speech and alleged misinformation. Workers at Boeing could be on the verge of a major strike. The aerospace developer and manufacturer's contract with about 32,000 union workers expires September 12th. A union leader said Boeing workers are far apart on all of the main issues. That includes wages, health care, retirement, and time off. Boeing says it will continue to bargain with the union in good faith and is confident a deal can be reached. The company has been facing a number of other challenges, including fatal crashes, design flaws, and tanking aircraft sales. Labor Day businesses, how businesses on the coast are benefiting this holiday weekend. Bingo, bingo! Every Friday night, the Pittsville Volunteer Fire Department. Doors open at 5 and games start at 7. $35 of play with a chance to win the jackpot of $1,000. And listen weekly for the U-Pick jackpot starting at ten grand. Come out for bingo every Friday night at the Pittsville Volunteer Fire Department. Come out to Jesse's Paddle on Saturday, September 21st at the Pocomoke River Canoe Company in Snow Hill, Maryland. Registration starts at 4 and boats launch at 4.30 for Jesse's Poker Paddle. Enjoy live music, a silent auction, and a swag bag for every donor. Prizes await the top poker paddle winners and best fundraisers. Help support the Jesse Clump Memorial Fund for Suicide Prevention. Visit jessiespaddle.org for more details. Coast Country Cares, sponsored by Spicer Brothers. Have you ever felt leg pain, restlessness, cramps, tingling, swelling, numbness, itchiness, or coldness? Then you need the new clinically proven Legsercise Pro, the natural circulation booster that uses continuous automatic leg movement to soothe pain and promote healthy circulation the natural drug-free way. After using Legsercise for a week, I felt like I wanted to go for a walk again without pain like I used to. Legsercise Pro's patented walking simulator propulsion technology moves your feet back and forth along its concave track, creating constant movement and flex at both the knee and ankle joints. It's like having a physical therapist right in your own home. It's helped with the swelling and the pain. The tingling feeling is gone. Call right now and order your very own Legsercise Pro, the clinically proven automatic leg mover that soothes pain and naturally promotes healthy circulation. Call now. The Judy Center Early Learning Hub works with families with children birth to the age of five to ensure that they are ready for school. We partner with members of our community to build a family strong enough to handle even the toughest challenges. By offering a free home education program, playgroups, story times, parent workshops, and monthly events, we enhance your kids' readiness for school. The Judy Center provides your family with the resources necessary to raise a child. The Judy Center, one community, one family.
Bingo, bingo! Every Friday night, the Pittsville Volunteer Fire Department doors open at 5 and games start at 7. $35 of play with a chance to win the jackpot of $1,000. And listen weekly for the U-Pick jackpot starting at ten grand. Come out for bingo every Friday night at the Pittsville Volunteer Fire Department. A line of traffic just waiting to turn the corner. That's what you've seen already this Labor Day weekend in the first state. Not only will people be headed to the nation's summer capital, but as Coast TV reporter Zakia Jennings shows us, they will be headed specifically to Lewis, the first town. People walking past the shops in Lewis. The busy holiday weekend has already started. But for businesses, preparation for this weekend started months ago. Surf Bagel is a popular restaurant in town. Surf Bagel's director of operations, Wes Books, says he's prepared for whatever comes his way the next few days. We've been preparing it for, you know, the last couple, I'd say, months, to be honest. So we've got uh, plenty of staff and extra staff this weekend. Uh, so we're, you know, we're prepared, we're locked and loaded, ready to go. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome. Tim Southerst and his wife, who he refers to as his better half, run Lewis Gourmet and Puzzles. He says every Labor Day weekend is different, but he's looking forward to closing out the summer with new and old visitors. Labor Day obviously is one of the key moments of the year. What makes it a little bit interesting too, it's the end of one season. Um, so in a manner of speaking, Labor Day weekend, we celebrate all of the goodness of summer but at the same time, start turning our attention to what comes next and the different season. Labor Day weekend is often seen as the last summer weekend before people have to return back to school or work. And local businesses here in Lewis are working hard to make sure that you can end your summer off the right way. In Lewis, I'm Zakia Jennings, Coast TV News. Now to a major recall. Inspectors found bugs and mold at a Boar's Head plant in Virginia that's been linked to a massive deli meat recall. Reports from the USDA's Food Safety Inspection Service show 69 complications at the plant within the past year. Insects were found both dead and alive, and mold was spotted on doors near a hand washing sink. And on the ceiling, a spokesperson for Boar's Head says food safety is a priority and the company regrets the impact of the recall. Operations at the plant has been suspended, and in late July, Boar's Head recalled 7 million pounds of deli meat. The CDC says the listeria outbreak has hospitalized 57 people in 18 states, and 9 people have died. Coming up on Coast TV News at 6, the Kelsey Brothers podcast deal. What company now owns their popular podcast? Lieutenant Governor Bethany Hall Long coming under fire from the Delaware Department of Elections. Long did not disclose nearly $300,000 in payments to her husband. In a scathing report, the agency says she profited off her campaign for governor. What could you do with your new Amish tradesman hall building? A garage, workshop, pool house, office, in-law suite, or just a big old toy box. The Amish Tradesman provides some free custom 3D design to reflect your vision built with Amish quality. For nearly 20 years, our Amish crew continues to operate in Southern Delaware where we live, work, and worship. Call us today to set up your free design consultation at 302-349-5550 or get inspired online at theamishtradesman.com. Only the best are left. It's gonna be a battle. It's my time. Strap in, here we go! Oh my goodness! American Ninja Warrior, Monday on NBC and Peacock. When you're in the live show, you've got to have a moment. What we just witnessed was your moment. I love live TV! AGT Live, Tuesday and Wednesday on NBC and Peacock. Join the Harry K Foundation for the Fashion for Charity Girls' Night Out October 16th from 6 to 9 p.m. at Shellville Village in Rehoboth Beach. Indulge in cocktails, hors d'oeuvres, a fashion show, and shopping on this evening of fashion, food, friends, and philanthropy. Tickets are $48 with benefits going to the Harry K Foundation, working to defeat childhood hunger throughout Delaware. For tickets and info, visit harrykfoundation.org. Sponsored by Coast TV. 
Hi, Chef Daniel Green here with my Bionic Blade, the new handheld blender that's rechargeable, so you can make a fast, healthy shake anywhere. It has the motor and blades built right into the lid, so blenders shake at the gym, make pina coladas by poolside, or grind coffee beans for an iced cold brew on the go. Get the Bionic Blade for just $29.99 with free shipping. You'll also get two sipping lids, a second container, and the sports lid. Get it all for just $29.99. Order now. It's Judge Judy's greatest hits with classics like... That's ridiculous. That's a lot of baloney. Plus... What are you, nuts? Judge Judy, delivering the hits daily. Coming September 9th to Coast TV. Jason and Travis Kelsey are teaming up with Amazon's Wondery to distribute their New Heights podcast. The deal is reported to be worth a whopping $100 million dollars. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end and the former Philadelphia Eagle said they were thrilled about the next phase of New Heights. The contract with Wondery includes global distribution rights to all audio and video episodes of New Heights debuted in 2022 in September. Coming up after the break on Coast TV News at 6, a fond way to send off the summer in Bethany Beach, jazz style. That's after the break. As a fellow veteran and family-owned business, Morse Roofing and Siding loves to give back to those that have served for the freedoms of this country. Dear Lieutenant Colonel Richard Marks, thank you for your service. In honor of your 20-plus years in the U.S. Air Force, we would like to give you, as our gift, this new certainty roofing system at no oh cost God, to you. And right now, we would like to give a free certainty upgrade to any military veteran between now and December the 31st. There's good. There's better. And then, then there's, there's more. Morse. Capture your favorite moments at the Coast TV photo booth. Strike a pose and snap a pic all for free. View previous pictures and see the next event at CoastTV.com under the Features tab. The Coast TV photo booth, sponsored by Baths by Spicer Brothers. Welcome to Rudy Marine, the largest single location service facility in the region. Whether you bought your boat here or not, we've got factory trained marine technicians, Yamaha service, and more. And right now, buy three services and get free storage. Plus, Rudy Marine is the home of the all-inclusive signature service program, which includes pull-out, tune-ups, detailing, winterization, shrink wrap, storage, and much more. Rudy Marine, where family boating begins. DSM Plus is more action. Four additional live stream games every weeknight and full replays on demand. DSN Plus is more local. Five live games every weeknight, showcasing high school showdowns and regional rivalries across Delmarva. DSN Plus is more access. Watch on your mobile devices and remember, DSN is still free over the air and on cable. But get more with DSN Plus, just $6.99 a month. Download the Delmarva Sports Network app from your app store today. Intruders are more likely to target homes with dark zones. Take the bullseye off your house and turn on Bionic Spotlight Extreme 360, the motion-activated home defense light that looks just like a high-tech security camera. It detects even the slightest motion and automatically triggers six ultra-bright LED high beams. During the day, it's disguised as a high-tech security camera. It's completely wireless and installs in just seconds. Powered by solar panels, no batteries needed. It adjusts a full 360 degrees. Call or go online and order your Bionic Extreme 360 for just $19.99. But wait, we can also include a second one. Just pay a separate fee. Plus, we'll give you free shipping on your entire order. To order, call 1-800-316-1548 or go online to buybionic360.com. To call 1-800-316-1548 or go to buybionic360.com. People always ask me, do you ever get scared? I tell them, yeah, all the time, but I never let it stop me. Okay, keep these patients moving. You're more casualties en route. I'm Dr. Charles. We're going to take real good care of you, okay? You can bid a fond farewell to summer at the Bethany Beach Jazz Funeral tomorrow. The annual tradition will kick off Monday at 530 on the north end of the Bethany Beach Boardwalk. 
Where's a live look into Salisbury? 82 degrees, and it will be a dry but muggy evening, rain free, expecting a few scattered showers and storms into the overnight. And you can get your weather at any time by calling our first alert weather phone at 443 880 9100. Cold front comes through tonight, ushers in cool, dry, crisp air just in time for our Labor Day, and we see a taste of fall by Tuesday, 74 after beginning in the 50s, and we continue to be dry through middle of the week, and then we see some showers roll back in by the end of the week. Right. Thank you, Chris, and thanks for joining us here for Coast TV News at 6. For more news and local weather, download our Coast TV News app, and be sure to join us right here on Coast TV for News at 11. Until then, have a great night.